What is up, Buckeye Nation? Shane Larson here, also known as the Game Time Guru. Flying solo here on Ohio State Football with Scarlet and Great here on YouTube today because Corey and Johnny are out. No problem, though. We're going to be talking about three freshmen who have made a major impact on the field so far in 2022. We've got a ton of them, a ton of freshmen that are, are making an impact. I'm going to be talking about three in particular, but it's awesome to see the Young Bucks getting out on the field and actually uh, make an impact. So if you guys are excited about the future of Ohio State football, hit the like button here as we get rocking and rolling. Again, top freshman in the 2022 season, and I want to get some you know engagement started here with the rest of you guys in Buckeye Nation. The three we're going to be talking about, Caden Curry, Jair Brown, and Dallin Hayden. Um, if you guys remember, we had Dallin Hayden on the show last summer, uh, or last year, I should say, as we interviewed him, and we were getting excited to see what the recruiting process was for him. If you guys haven't seen that episode or that video, you should go back and check it out, because now that we're seeing him on the field, we'll get into that in a little bit, um, it's kind of cool to see him now compared to when he was still in high school and he was uh, he had committed to the Buckeyes. Um, and I had that conversation with him there. So let's get started with Caden Curry here on the on the line, first and foremost. So far this season, Curry's got seven tackles and one tackle for loss. Doesn't seem like it's that much. But if you guys are paying attention to Curry, there are some major, major upsides. Sorry, upsides to Caden. Um, he's doing some big things. Obviously, seven tackles on the season, one tackle for loss. For a true freshman on the line in a powerhouse program like the Buckeyes, that's a pretty big deal. He got to get in on nine snaps against Wisconsin. but where Caden is making a major impact, in my opinion, is on special teams. If you guys go in and check the film, he's making the, the, the most out of what he's got going on. Special teams are where it's at, guys. Uh, if you didn't know this, um, on my own show, The Game Time Guru, I interviewed Mike Westhoff. He has a book called Figure It Out. Mike Westhoff is arguably the best special teams coach to ever come through the NFL. He coached 32 years in the pros and uh, very well known for his special teams, um, I guess, arsenal that he brings to the table like he just he, he kind of revolutionized the special teams game so when i talk about Caden curry i i think about the special teams aspect he's a blocker on the on the field goal team he's he's making sure nobody gets through on the on the outside but he's also getting in on the defensive front getting nine snaps against wisconsin is huge for the young guy because that's a big time program in the big 10 that's that's it's wisconsin this isn't just a a, a pushover team although the score might have seemed a little bit different but the fact that he's been getting some snaps, he's got some tackles, he's been getting in on the games, shows that he is not scared of the moment. Caden Curry is one of these guys that has truly stood out to me as, yeah, he's not going to be the main dude. He's not going to get on in every single game, every single snap, but he's not scared of the moment, and he shows that he belongs there already. Can you imagine what's going to happen when you get him deeper into this program, more into the offseason workouts as he continues to put weight on and he continues to get used to the college game how special Caden Curry is going to be. Next, we got to talk about Jair Brown. Okay, this is the, the biggest one, in my opinion, as far as like the surprise, right? We had heard about Brown earlier in the offseason, and the reason we had heard about him is because we weren't sure what was going to happen on the sec in the secondary for Ohio State. But if you guys remember, you know, Wisconsin, Cam Brown was down, Denzel Burke was out, and obviously Jordan Hancock hasn't been able to get in yet because of his injury. But we were down Brown and Burke to start this game. So Jair Brown gets in as his first start. Now his stats don't necessarily tell the whole story, right? Stats don't tell the whole story. He's got two tackles and one pass breakup, right? And then some might say, well, he got uh, a pass interference call as well, which actually extended the drive for Wisconsin uh, on a third down, which was a phantom flag, absolute garbage call. Um, you can't argue otherwise, right? I think we all are in agreement there. And listening to Ryan Day talk about Jair Brown, it's it's exciting because he had all this potential. I believe he's a four-star athlete coming out, comes in there, and makes an immediate impact as a true freshman. In a position where the Buckeyes truly struggled last year, which the secondary was kind of a highlight for them, but they did give up some big plays. This game against Wisconsin specifically, big-time game against a big-time opponent in the Big Ten, they limited the Badgers to 12 completions. Okay, he got his very first start and limited the Badgers to 12 completions. So while he didn't have the most amazing stat line in the world, it's not like he was getting a pick six every other play. Jair Brown came out there and made it an, an immediate impact, which if he can continue to do this, he already has been you know, known to be able to make those plays, his athleticism and everything. He had a good game. And that kind of 
gets that discussion flowing. I know Burke has been on the forefront of everybody's minds. He's been a topic of discussion uh, because of some of the big plays he's given up and at times his lackadaisical plays. But let's see if uh, Jair Brown can can continue his play because that might be a, a debate that we have in the next week or two if uh, he continues his stellar play like that because he was not given up big plays. Minus the pass interference call, that was a phantom flag, which Ryan Day specifically said he was not happy about even after the game. Super unhappy about. I give Day a lot of credit because of the fact that he stood up for his player. The fact that he was uh, that frustrated with that, he believes it shouldn't have been a penalty. Jair Brown played a pretty flawless game. Super impressive for a true freshman. Last, we got to give a shout out to Dallin Hayden. Like I said, this guy, Hayden, was on my show. Well, he was on our show. We, I interviewed him last year as you know, he had finally committed to Ohio State, talked about the recruiting process. I love that he talked about how he felt wanted, how Coach Day and his coaching staff wanted him there. You know, he felt important. Well, he's showing that he can make an immediate impact, right? He's got 29 carries for 152 yards and a touchdown so far. But what was cool about this was against Wisconsin, right? Against Wisconsin, he didn't have any breakout. You know, I think he only had like 30 uh, 30 yards on the game. I, I believe it was 31 and, and two first downs at the end of the game though. There was about seven minutes left. Wisconsin just scores and they give the ball to Dallin Hayden and he comes in there and ends up getting them a couple of first downs to milk the clock. I love the fact that he had his coming out game against Toledo. He did his thing, uh, 29 carries so far, 152 yards, a touchdown, and he's got two catches for 13 yards. So he's showing that he belongs there. He's not scared of the moment. He's ready. And that is huge for the depth of this running back position. And the reason I say that is obviously we've got Mayan, we've got Travion, but as we know, the running back position here at Ohio State, our guys keep getting banged up, right? Obviously, they've been able to play. We've been able to get them in there in big-time moments. The, the, the duo with Williams and Henderson has been awesome. But for some reason, I have this in the back of my mind. Like the, for I don't know if, if the physicality, whatever, like they keep getting banged up. So having Dallin Hayden, even as a true freshman, sitting there in the wings, showing that he can do this, that he is ready for this, that this style of offense fits his his play style is super, super nice because we have that feeling that we might not just have two running backs that are capable of getting the job done. We have three. We have a third sitting there in Dallin Hayden who is ready for the game. You never know what you're going to get with these true freshmen. You never know what's going to happen with these guys. You never know if the lights are too bright for them. And those three, Caden Curry, Jair Brown, and Dallin Hayden, have proven thus far in 2022 that they are ready for the game. They've all made an, an immediate impact into the season, and I would expect uh, these guys to continue to get comfortable, continue to make an impact in the season as we get further and further around. So further and further on down the season, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing Jair Brown and seeing what happens there in the rotation. If he's going to get more and more reps um, as he plays, you know, he faces – better passing teams, but what he proved against Wisconsin shows that he can be there. Caden Curry's obviously already getting snaps and Dallin Hayden has proven that he should be able to get the ball if they choose to continue to use him in that rotation, which kind of alleviates Williams and Henderson guys. I'm excited for Buckeye, the, the future of Buckeye football. And I want you guys to know, or I want you guys to let us know who your favorite freshman has been so far in the 2022 season. Leave us a comment right here on Ohio State football with Scarlet and Gray. Let us know who your favorite freshman has been. That's just three of them. We've got a lot of guys from the class of 2022 who, who graduated high school in 2022 that are in here and actually getting reps. There's tons of them. Um, go check it out. I mean, we've got a lot of freshmen that have been making an impact, but those three I wanted to specifically mention because they have stood out in the last couple of weeks as far as the immediate impact that they have made. Let us know who your favorite freshman is. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll be coming to you guys next time with another episode of Ohio State football with Scarlet and Gray. Go Bucks.